Hey guys, happy Friday. It's time for some operations over here. And we're gonna be picking up where we left off. Yeah, look at this. Oh, we got the Robert Todd uh, watching some train videos. None of that, uh, none of that RC car stuff over there. No, uh-uh, it's train time. All right, so as we have been doing in the past, or well, at least the past few videos, uh, we're kind of picking up where we left off. And this is exactly where we left off last time. And I managed to, uh, well, kind of, I don't know, screw things up here a little bit. Uh, we got to do a runaround to get these three box cars, which we left uh, over here last time. They were our pickups, if you uh, recall. And uh, we did a drop off of these four box cars, but Eh, we gotta we gotta do a run around somehow. We couldn't fit them down here at the end and everything, and uh, you know it just got wacky. So let's go. Let's get the sound on over here. Let's uh, get moving on out. I looking at the turnouts. Everything looks good. Let's move on out. We're gonna have to shove these guys up, and then do a quick run around on the uh, run around track back there by the uh, by the backdrop. And then head back to the yard. And then I've got, uh, I'm just looking at the yard behind me over here. And uh, I've got uh, a couple lumber cars to go down to Huntington Beach. It's always fun to head down to the HB. I figure what the heck, we'll just, uh, we'll continue with our little SD40 fun here. Man, I love running this thing. And this is the even a uh, Genesis model. These guys are the uh, ready to run, ready to roll. I, don't, well, I forgot what the heck they're called. Um, but man, they look uh, they look just as nice. I can't tell the difference, you know. I hope everybody had a good week. I know I was planning to do a couple other videos and uh, well, to be honest, you know, I, <laughs> I got doing RC car stuff. I have been uh, doing a few upgrades over there on my, uh, my crawler and uh, building my, my sort of crawler. Uh, hold on a second, hold on. Building my crawler uh, course in the backyard. And uh, I got tied up doing that. And then it was like raining and all this other mumbo jumbo. All right, so. Back to trains. So uh, yeah, I, I put these cars here and I got this mark right here to try to kind of get it so, you know, the the couplers are in the right spot, um, but they're not. And, and and I don't know what to do here because if I go this way, this coupler goes in the wrong direction. I'm gonna try to just back it up here a little bit. Let me see if there's a better spot to uh, couple cars together here. You know, ooh, ooh, blah, blah, blah. I, don't, I don't even think you can see that, but you can see right there. Uh, no, that's not good either. See, we're just going to be shoving back, which I guess is okay because we got to do that anyway, don't we? No. Let me uh, let me pull the locomotive forward here a little bit. See, that's uh, I don't know. That's kind of close. I'm trying to find uh, the spot on the S curve where I should be decoupling cars. And I thought it was that red spot there. But you can see, I'm just gonna play around here a little bit. I'm gonna see if, uh, if yeah, see, once we start making this turn here, it, uh, you know, the coupler just naturally swings out to the, uh, well, I guess the outside of the turn, right? And there's no real way of doing this. That's why I was thinking it was gonna be right around there. I think actually the closest spot I can find is right here where we're kind of on a curve. Look at that. We're on the curve over here, but the thing is that uh, we're kinked right here. And so the couplers in their natural state are pretty much almost dead on. So if we coupled over here, click, look at that. I'm gonna make a note of that. So. Uh, yeah, let's see, what are we gonna do? I'm gonna make a little mark right here. I'm gonna say that's where, I'm gonna make a little hole back there and uh, that's where we're gonna, that's where we're gonna have to decouple going forward. I wonder if there's a spot over here. So even though it's sort of on a, it's on a curve right there, I guess it could be over here too. All right, 
Let's get on with this show. Holy smokes, Engineer Rick. All right. Anyway, so we're going to get rid of that, uh, that little red mark right there. And uh, we'll put some new marking up there. And you might say, well, why did you, why did I use red? Because in the other spots on the layout, I used uh, orange or yellow, sorry. And uh, the yellow markings I used to uh, signify where to decouple. Oh, I heard something go something over there. Right there is good. Um, I used the yellow mark to indicate where we wouldn't foul the other track. You know, so like at a turnout. Um, and then uh, this one here I used red because, uh, you know, we're not following any tracks or anything like that. And uh, and that sounds really good in, in uh, you know, in practice using a different color like that. But actually I just, <laughs> I just had red. I just grabbed red. I don't know why. So, uh, but it kind of worked out that way. And it was like, oh, it, that's cool. It's like it's red over here because it's not about fouling tracks. It's about uh, aligning couplers. So that's my story for that one. All right, we're gonna we're gonna get this we're gonna get this operation here going. Holy smokes! Uh, I think uh, right about there is good. Back there, just uh, yeah, maybe a little bit more. I don't want to be messing with uh, with couplers. All right, we shall decouple over here. I'm gonna put the camera down on top of the building. Actually, let's see here. We can angle it down a little bit. There we go. Get the, we'll get uncoupled over here. Then we're going to keep on running down and uh, get, get our runaround done. It has been a fun week over here. Like I said, we've been doing a whole bunch of other stuff. Along with knocking over palm trees here right now. Let me back up over here. We'll go on the top of this building. Ooh, ooh. Yep, yep. All right, Engineer Rick. Holy smokes. All right, hold on. Let's get back. Shorted out the layout. <sighs> what was I talking about? It's been a fun week, hasn't it? <laughs> it's, it's turned out. Starting to be a fun, uh, you know, uh, pseudo Friday here. It's actually Thursday, believe it or not, when I'm recording this. There we go. All right. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, it's actually Thursday uh, morning at, uh, what is it? 9.45 a.m. Pacific time here. And we are running over the street without honking. Whew. Screwing all sorts of things up over here. But uh, I got plans for tomorrow, Friday, which is when you're, well, when you're watching this. Uh, I will be running around in the desert in Borrego Springs, hopefully. Uh, with the RC car doing the next video in my Exploring uh, SoCal series I'm doing over there. Hence, why I'm recording this today. And actually, it's kind of funny because I, I talk more about my... Well, I, not that I talk more about my RC Car Channel. I talk about the RC Car Channel stuff that I'm planning also on this channel. So you guys get the sneak peek. You know what's going to be coming up next uh, over there. When uh, people over there, if they're just subscribed there, they, they have no clue. All right, hold on. I'm not gonna short the place out here again. Let me uh, let me get up to this uh, turnout here. But that's just the way it is over there. It's a little bit more uh, uh, I don't know formal still. Let's put it that way. I'm gonna put the camera down and readjust it here. There we go. Uh, this is my chit chat channel here. Is that kind of sit back here and have some fun with the trains and just talk about oh whatever. So just anyway, giving you my giving you, you my uh, plan for tomorrow, and why I'm recording this the day before. I 
Okay, hold on, hold on. We gotta get over there and get a nice look at my nice new tree over there. Ooh. Yeah, I know. Look at this. Everything looks exactly the same. I have not, like I said, I haven't done anything out here, gotta be honest, uh, since I did the tree and I ran the ops over here. Right there's good. But, uh, don't worry. It's, uh, you know, just trying to juggle everything. And uh, it was kind of interesting. What was it? I saw somewhere. I don't know if it was in a Model Railroad magazine or Model Railroad Craftsman or if it was just somebody talking about it on a video because I, I still do watch train videos here. Uh, and uh, I think it, maybe it was a comment or maybe somebody mentioned something about Maybe it was on my video where people were people were talking about, you know, not getting burnt out on model railroading. Something like that. And uh, I think uh, the discussion kind of went along the lines of like, well, if you... Yeah, see, I should have pushed farther here. Our couplers aren't really aligned right there. Let's, uh, let's fudge it here a little bit. There we go. All right, that's good. So uh, anyway, back to the discussion there. Uh, people were talking about, uh, you know, one of the things to do uh, was kind of take your time, right? Um, so if you just built your entire layout in like, you know, six months or something, start to finish, everything was done, all buildings done, everything's done. That's another way you can kind of get burnt out. And then it's like, okay, now what, you know? Now you just got to run it and you might get bored. But uh I have found that, uh, let's watch this guy go across the street here. Let me zoom in a little bit. Ooh, we love that. Like with the mountains in the background and, uh, I gotta get something on this building, I know. This scene is gonna look really cool. Alright. Get a roll in over here. Anyway, uh, what I was gonna say is, uh, yeah. So I found that uh, you know, just kind of taking your time. Don't don't rush it. Have some fun. Uh, it's okay to you know go a little slow. Have some uh, you know toilet paper rolls for a little bit. I didn't want to just flip over on this bridge. And uh, yeah, but anyway, you know, kind of take your time, don't rush things. Um, and so you've always got something to kind of work on, which I know on a railroad model layout, meaning, um, man, it always seems like there's something to work on. So that's another way of not getting uh, burnt out. So I'm, I'm fine with uh, kind of going slow. As a matter of fact, speaking of going slow, I really need to, uh, we need to pick up the pace here and uh, ballast this section right here from the yard, basically right here, <laughs> on down that way to uh, right where the bridge is. Watch out, weirdos! Yeah, because yeah, that's a uh, that's a uh, I guess that's uh, well I say it's the next thing I'm gonna do, and then I like do something totally different. But uh, yeah, I gotta I gotta get to doing that. I got a little bit of ballast left over here. I think the next time I'm over in the hobby shop, I will pick up uh, some more gray ballast because that's what I use right here uh, for all of my track. Fine ballast. I like using the fine stuff, end scale stuff. It looks better. At least uh, I think it does. All right. Let's watch this guy run around here. I'm gonna I'm gonna speed him up quite a bit over here because you know we're heading down to Huntington Beach. This ain't even we're not even into the operations yet. Mm, gotta get across the street there. Let's zoom in here a little bit. As a matter of fact, while he's running into the yard, uh, I'm gonna go swap my battery here in the camera. So uh, you'll see him in the yard here in a sec. All right, guys, hold on. Break in the action over here. So I turned the camera off and I was letting the train roll down at this end over here. And if you recall before, we got a little bit of suitcase connector kind of issue with the track right there. Ah, we're going to take care of that right now, right here where we are. So here's where the train stopped. And you can kind of, let me give you an idea where this is at. This is a little wooded area right there and it heads into the corner right over here before it splits off and goes into the yard. 
and there's this one section of track that runs between this turnout right here and the turnout that runs into the industry right there. Now it is powered. One thing I gotta say, uh, I, I've had this comment before where uh, people say, oh, you gotta solder your track and power every piece. I got that. Number one, every single individual piece of my track is individually powered. If I went into the layout, I got a million drops, meaning like there is not one piece of track um, that, you know, from, you know, uh, what do you call it, uh, connector to connector kind of thing uh, that d doesn't get power. Every single piece of track has power, including this little section between these two turnouts there and there. But they're connected with suitcase connectors and garbage trucks running outside making lots of noise. Oh my goodness sakes. Are you done? Hurry up. <laughs> How's that, oh, Burr Stewart? This is re reality model railroading. Anyway, we gotta deal with the dump truck, uh, garbage truck picking up garbage. Anyway, right here is the solder points. So I'm gonna get in here, I'm gonna double check these really quick just to make sure that that's not loose. And uh, we're gonna go underneath really quick and it's probably really dark in here. Yeah, you can't see anything down there with the way the camera is set up, but uh, I'm gonna double check. I do have another suitcase connector uh, just as a temporarily fix here. I think I know which one it is. I think it's the lead that comes off of this rail. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, basically clip it and then uh, just double check the voltage. And then we'll see if we can't get this thing powered up. So let me, uh, let me jump underneath there and do that really quick. <laughs> All right, guys, man, after a little bit of troubleshooting down there, so I found the culprit over there. Uh, I actually replaced both suitcase connectors that went to the uh, either rail underneath there. And I was kind of getting, I'm testing with my little piece of LED right here. It's just a little, little Jeepo LED. And uh, I was almost getting like intermittent uh, LED lights here. Let me do this so you can see it. So uh, I'll, touch, uh, I'll touch each one of these rails. And obviously, oh, let's see, look at that. Now all of a sudden I'm getting power. You can see it's lighting up right there. And the lead is not done. So what's happening here is I'm getting power from one of the ends, right? That's, uh, you know, the rail joiners. Either on this side over here or over on this side here. But the culprit here is that I don't rely on those. And so I don't solder my rail joiners. Now, some people have said you should solder the rail joiners as the garbage truck comes by the other side of the street. <laughs> and uh, anyway, I don't do that because the layout is in the garage and temperatures fluctuate between like 110 and, uh, you know, 40 or something in here. Um, and so I don't do that because I let those kind of you know, wiggle around a little bit, expand and so forth. Um, I, that's why I power every single piece of track. And what's happening here is uh, this little sucker right here on that rail uh, was not really joined very well and we're only relying on what power we do get from uh, either side of the rail joiners. And they're kind of hokey because it was, like I said, it was intermittent here. Like you can see, you saw it right there. I put it down and uh, and we are getting we are getting a light yeah right there so if I ran over right now hey, let me get it on there come on there we go and now we are not see it's a very there we go now we are so uh, what I'm gonna do is get the soldering iron out and we're gonna solder that sucker and uh, you get to watch the whole fiasco here all right, I got the uh, soldering iron warming up over here. So we're just gonna prep this a little bit. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the track power so we don't start shorting things out because I got a metal file here. And I'm just gonna go over on the back side over here. Now, this is the back side of the track. So it don't need to look pretty. Um, it just needs to have a good connection. So I don't care, I can feel back there where the uh, solder point is. So I'm just gonna kind of just scrape that off, make sure we ain't got any paint or any glue or anything like that on there. Um, I'm gonna go ahead 
and get my flux out here just get that lead it's already got some solder on it right there and we got a good gob of it down there get 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 the ballast off of there all right that looks good get it off the top there okay Whew. so we kind of scraped it up back there uh track power is off make sure i'm not melting anything with my uh, soldering iron here we're gonna let i know this is like the el cheapo soldering iron we're gonna let that uh, warm up a little bit here as soon as it is warmed up we uh, will get our get our solder out here so we got solder ready to go and uh i'm gonna let it warm up for a minute or two we'll get this sucker put on and hopefully be finally done with this little section of track that's been causing me trouble for the longest time okay soldering iron is uh, pretty much heated up but uh, as you can see my little uh, hook here is sort of facing the wrong way so i'm just gonna try to rotate this sucker around i guess it'd be easier if i had done this uh i don't know <laughs> i can't tell all right, I think that's good right there. So I just want the hook to kind of hook onto the uh, onto the rail. All right, that looks good. Um, I need a little pair of tweezers though to hold that thing. Let me go grab that. Okay, I got some tweezers here. And uh, first thing I'm gonna do though, and hopefully not knock everything over, is uh, I'm just gonna get a little bit of a uh, solder on the back side, man, I need a new, uh, I, need, I need an actual soldering iron here. Don't mind this thing. Now there's solder already in the back there. There we go. Oh yeah, we got it on there. Oh yeah, I can see it. There's like seven gallons of the stuff down on there. Let me go ahead and uh, get the tip of this thing uh, tinned up here. Just a little bit. There we go. All right, now let's get it in position. Of course, now it's hot as heck. All right. Get that in there. Boy, this is fun, huh? I'm gonna just grab the tip of it. There we go. And again, I do not care what this looks like as long as it, uh, as long as it works here. Let me give you a little bit of a closer look on there. Let's see, where are we? There we are. All right, whoo. All right, let's see how badly I can screw this up. Help if I get the right stuff. All right, I'm gonna get a bunch on there and hopefully, oh boy. Well, that I think has got it. And it looks awful, but we're gonna, we're gonna run a little bit of we're gonna run a little bit of a file over the top of that. Yep, that's it. Okay. To make sure we ain't got any uh, metal anywhere, I'm gonna go ahead and place you guys back up here yeah, as I plop down the stairs. Let me get the soldering iron out. Make sure I ain't got any uh, stuff laying on the track. I'm gonna go ahead and power the track on. All right, we have power. Let's uh, let's see how we're doing here. Hey, there we go. Well, at least I'm, I hope that's it. I mean, it's working. And uh, yeah, that sucker's on there now. Now, yeah, it's got a little bit of a you know a bump there in the back. So I'm just gonna solder, not solder. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna sand it, file down the uh, the very top of it here. I didn't get any on the very top of the rail. But uh, it's got a little bit of a bump on the back side there. So I don't want to, yeah, that looks good. Let's get a little bit more of that. I could have done a better job, but hey, listen, it's kind of in a funky spot. I'm up on a step stool trying to reach back here. And again, I don't care how this thing looks as long as it works. So. I think we're all good here. Let's uh, fire up the locomotive and uh, we're going to run it across there just to see what it looks like. 
and then uh, and then we can pick up all our tools here. I got my little wire stripper I was using, my uh, just cheapo LED. I use it as a little tester file. Ooh, of course, file is laying across the rails there. So is this thing. Oh my goodness sakes. Okay. We got like crap everywhere here. All right, make sure nothing else is uh, <laughs> shorting anything else out. All right, here we go. This has turned into like a maintenance away train here. Now, obviously, it's going to work good because uh, we tested it with the uh, with the LED, and uh, yeah, it got to right about oh another half a car length. Right, it got to right there, and then it died. So, yeah, we're good to go over here. All right. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to run the rest of the uh, train into the yard. I'll pick all this stuff up and then uh, we'll pick back up with our operations. Holy smokes. All right, guys. Woo. Now that that fiasco is uh, accomplished, let's pull into the yard. We'll get rid of these cars, grab our two lumber cars, and head down to uh, Huntington Beach. Woo. Get a little bell in here. Man, that was fun, huh? Hopefully we don't have any more trouble here coming across the uh, the lift up bridge because, uh, like I said, it's been a, it rained last night actually, and when it does, it gets a little bit cooler in here. This stuff kind of doesn't align it line. Sorry, doesn't align exactly uh, perfectly. Looking for my skewer here. <sighs> Let's pop back here. Holy smokes! Hopefully that looks okay. All right, yeah, a little bit further here. We've got one clear track. We can come back down. Actually, I'm going to pull this guy up quite a bit. Yeah, actually, I'm going to I'm going to pull you guys up quite a bit. A little bit farther. A little bit farther. Keep on going there, Engineer Rick. All right, Whew. right there is good. Let's get disconnected, come back down. And, uh, doo -doo -doo, yep, turnout's all good. Oh boy, that was fun, huh? A little bit of, a little bit of maintenance work on the, uh, on the layout there. It's always fun, at least we got something accomplished here today. So much for uh, me saying, hey, I didn't get much done uh, this week. Are you kidding me? I just fixed that problem that I have been stress not stressing over, but I have been dealing with <laughs> for, for the longest time. I can't believe I finally got that stupid thing done. I, I actually put two new suitcase connectors on it, which uh, I, I guess I should have. I could have just uh, soldered them instead. I said before that I was going to be soldering instead of using suitcase connectors. Uh, make sure I'm going down the right track here. Um, but uh, whatever, I just wanted to get it done. And it turns out, I guess the suitcase connectors were actually the good. They were good down there, but they got, they got two new ones. And it was that one solder point. Which I guess I, I never learn, you know. Um, the funny thing is, when if I, if I showed you underneath there, that little section there has got, uh, what, one, two, three, four, five, six... Uh, set of suitcase connectors. There's six different tracks right in that right in that all in that little area between the uh, Titan transfer facility and the uh, industry in the background and the runaround Actually two runarounds We got six tracks. So there are 12 suitcase connectors down there <laughs> and uh, Man, I'm running out of space for suitcase connectors. It's kind of funny All right, let's uh I'll put the camera down here. I'm getting tired of holding it, actually. Uh, make sure I'm on the right turnout there. Good bump up the exposure a little bit. No, I think that's good. Playing with the camera here again. Oh, not darker, lighter. There we go. All right. All right, we'll back up. We're gonna grab that uh, lumber car back there. There's two of them. 
We're gonna head down to Huntington Beach and uh, and try to settle down with the camera. All right, here we go. All right, guys, come on. Get this show on the road. I'm gonna have to go get another battery for the camera. Um, now, I like my camera that I use here. I don't use a cell phone. I use a Sony ZD-1. It's like an $800 camera with no, all the other little thingies on it. About $1,000. But uh, it's a little dated. Oh, just a tiny bit. Oh, my goodness sakes. Engineer Rick. Wrong track. But um, it unfortunately only does 4K in uh, 30 FPS which is what uh, you are watching this on, or at, hopefully. There we go, one more. But um, when it runs at 4K, when it records at 4K, it tends to overheat pretty quick. So um, it actually did that while I was messing around with, uh, with this soldering bit here. And, uh, yeah, you can see that. All right, I'm just gonna make sure we're kind of on a curve right there. There we go. All right, we're good. All right. Get a move on here. We're already running late. Anyway, all that to say, yeah, whew, it's been fun. Between uh, having to uh, redo some solder, uh, joints there, whatever connections, and uh, getting over this wonky bridge that's a little bit uh, kind of funny because it tends to separate right there. And you can see there's a, there's a pretty good gap right there, and uh, it tends to close up when it warms up a little bit. So, all right, notch it up there, Engineer Rick. Let's get the heck on the road here. Boy, I don't know what I was babbling on about. Anyway, I thought this was going to be a nice, relaxing uh, little uh, little run, run down to Huntington Beach, but uh, that's what happens. All right, I'm going to adjust my camera settings here a little bit. Uh, oh, mackerel! My controller lanyard just got. Uh, it just got like caught on something right there. I swear I almost dropped it. Holy smokes, guys. I'm going back to my RC car. <laughs> At least when something breaks on that, I, I just order a new one and uh, away we go. Try to brighten it up over here. Uh, I wish I had like even lighting. Now, when you're here in person, my lighting, I have LED shop lights. And they all look great, and the layout looks great, but boy, the camera really accentuates ever so slightly. If it's darker, like towards this corner right here, it's usually darker. But then we get around over here, and all of a sudden, woo, bam, we're like, uh, we're nice and bright. So, I'm constantly playing with the, uh, the camera settings here. Hmm, missed the turnout again. Hi. This might be another one of those uh, videos where we just kind of we just stop somewhere. We got a honk for the horses here. Now we're gonna stop over here and uh, change our turnout really quick. Right there's good. All right, our other turnout down there is uh, looking pretty good. We're gonna honk over here for the weirdos under the uh, overpass. Yeah, I'm not sure how long this video is, uh, just because we had to kind of stop there and get some soldering done and all that stuff. But I'm, I'm guessing we're getting pretty long. 
So we'll see how far we get with our little switching operation here because this kind of turned into more of a maintenance train than uh, anything else. So let's see, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to stop over here and we're going to change our uh, turnout. A little bit more, a little bit more, right, uh, right there is good, Engineer Rick. All right, while I'm doing that, let's, uh, I should stop playing with the uh, camera settings, huh? All right, there we go. Just brighten it up a little bit. All right, let's, uh, whoop, there we go, yeah. We're going to come down here, and I think we're going to call it a day. We're going to stop here really quick for lunch over at the taco stand. So let's, uh, let's dive down here. Guys, I hope you enjoyed that uh, fun video, right? We did some, we got some stuff done on the layout this week. Woo, been doing a whole bunch of stuff, fixing problems and moving cars around. Oh man, we got a lot of stuff done. All right, we're gonna stop right here. The guys are gonna get out and, uh, and turn the lights off. I think we turned the lights off. Not sure why they're not going off. Anyway. <laughs> All right, guys. Till next time. Take care. I hope you had a good, uh, good time this uh, week. And have a good weekend. And we will see you in the next video. Where we will pick up this little uh, switching operation. Meanwhile, the guys are going to go over here. Hang out with Lance and the girls. Get some fish tacos. Till next time, guys. Take care.